Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I have another duper be dupe video. I guess that's what I should be calling this series because I've done a lot of dupes on my channel. So today, dupe or be duped is going to be the artistry palette from Bad Habit versus the master palette by Mario. So what do I think? Um, if you can't tell which eye is what, it's probably because these two palettes are almost identical. It is crazy, including the fallout, how much these are identical. So both palettes are in black and gold. I love that color combination in a palette, absolutely stunning. They're both kind of a cardboard-esque palette and both have a mirror on the inside. As far as, whew, there's the mirror on the inside. As far as the colors go, they are truly a, a dupe. If anything, I would say the Artistry palette has a bit more of pigmentation and a darker color on the blue. As far as, um, oh, which one? Daphne did not perform as good as Fifth Avenue. I had to build up Daphne, which is this golden goodness right here. So I did have to put on a couple layers for it to get to the Fifth Avenues one time. So really and truthfully, they're kind of probably equal hit and miss categories. So the colors, as you can see, are identical. The only difference is the Artistry palette has bigger pan sizes, which can be absolutely exciting. They both have fallout. I probably didn't have to tap my brush as hard on the Artistry palette as I did on the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, but really and truthfully, when you use this palette, you've just got to be prepared that there is going to be fallout. So anyways, it's just kind of interesting how close in color these are and how close they are as far as, fa as, far as fallout, as fallout, fallout. So anyways, oh, and I want to say, hey, Miss Sis, I'm doing another video and I'm missing you. I haven't like recorded in probably a week and a half, but I don't know when this video will go up. But anyways, just wanted to hey, say hey to Miss Sis. Um, now back to the palette. So if you do want to see how these two go on my eyes, you are in the right place to stay tuned. Just want to let you know a little bit in advance. I went ahead and did this eye over here with the Mario Master Palette. I went ahead and had it set, done, um, because you guys know how typically Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes perform anyway. So I went ahead and used the original here. And then I went ahead and you could see me use and build up the colors with the Artistry palette over there. So hope you guys really enjoy this dupe or be dupe video. If you do, like and subscribe. I don't know, refer a friend. But get ready to get started so you can see how these two perform next to each other. Here okay, we go. so I just finished the left eye, your right, on the screen with the Master Palette by Mario. This is an Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I've got this semi-complete look. I think I might do something a little bit more. Not sure. But we are going to pick up the Artistry 12 Color Eyeshadow Collection. This is from Bad Habit Beauty. I bought that on Shop Hush. The colors are very similar. The boxes are actually kind of similar with the gold and the black, which is really pretty. The Mario palette, when I first bought it, I thought I was allergic to it. I didn't realize all the fallout, and you can kind of still see the fallout in the pans just from using them. And then this is the new um, Artistry palette. So we're going to see how these two play up against one another. And um, this one does have a ton, ton of fallout, which is why I thought I was allergic to it. I didn't realize you had to be that careful with this palette. So that's why I haven't really used it a lot, unfortunately. But we're going to start with this color, Mona. And I'm going to do basically exactly what I did on the Mario palette. Even on my little mistake that I did, I'm going to make the same little mistake on this side so that we have as much of a similar look as possible. I would say this color is very, very close, if not spot on. Let's 
Tiffany is easier to use on this palette than the color in the other palette. This one seems to not be as blotchy. The other one came out really blotchy and it took me a while to blend it down. And this one's not doing that, which is nice. And then I just kind of took the excess and I went down on the eyelid. Then on a flatter brush, I picked up the blue color. This one is Siren. And this one has a lot of fallout. I tapped it back into its pan and you can see that it's got a lot of fallout. Now I did not put a base underneath this. I did a blue eye or a green eye recently. I think it was blue where I put a blue eye pencil underneath. I wanted you guys to see kind of what this blue looks like without trying to build up underneath it. And to be honest, this blue here seems to be a tad bit darker than the blue on this side. Because you can see on this side how light it is right there because I stopped with the glitter. This one is darker on the edge. And then I'm going to pick up a fluffy brush. So far, I mean, they both have fallout, so you can see with this brown, you can see in the blue um, and the color here. So I would say they kind of almost have equal color as far as, far as far as fallout. Say that a few times, right? So then I picked up the color, the bluish color. And I don't, I can't tell, see if you can tell on the camera, but this has come out a lot bluer than that. So this is more pigmented than the other. Very interesting, right? All right, so let me double check the color I picked up. I wanna say, okay, it is Daphne on this palette. And so where I said I messed up is I did try to go up underneath here with the Daphne, but I think it's Fifth Avenue in the other palette, and it really didn't do much for me. But I did put it right here, and as you can see, this Daphne is not picking up as shimmery as the other. It's slightly off, well, it, or maybe it just needed to be built up. The other one went on this shimmery, like, from the get-go. Um, this Daphne, it looks like it needs to be built up. So what I did was I took another, another eye shadow. This is from Winky Lux. It's called Light. And that's what I used to go over that color there. And then for the sparkle and shimmer, I picked up this Dila. So we're gonna pick that up. Which I've had this for a while and I've never had an opportunity to use it, but I really like it. So just in the mirror, ahead, basically ahead of me, I can see this is a little bit darker than this side. So that part I'm not terribly excited about. I'll probably have to build this up before I actually go out this evening. I have a date. Well, actually I'm taking out, I have a date with my husband, but it's with some of my employees that had last year they did really good and they were the number one in our group so we're taking them and their spouses out for dinner to celebrate so I'll have to make it match a little bit better once the video is finished 
This liquid eyeliner was a free gift that I got from Shop Hush, so I'm trying it this evening. It says it's water resistant. The good part so far is, and my eyes are real watery right now, is it hasn't crept up in my little creases and crevices, so that's good. The only bad part is I got it too low here, so it's on the inner corner. These things happen. I'm gonna pick up a Milani Superstay eyeliner. We'll do the inner waterline here. I'm gonna pick up the Double Decker Mascara, which is what I have on this side. I only have one coat on that side. And now we got one coat over there. I'm trying to debate, do I do false lashes over the top of this or do I just do a second coat? But I guess I can just finish my face with y'all. I did not add, so when I started, I did not add a concealer or powder. I was watching another YouTuber. I always forget their names when I want to talk about them. She does her concealer last so that if she has any fallout, it's able to clean it up at the same time. And because I knew the Mario palette was kind of, ooh, got a little crazy, um, has a lot of fallout, I decided to, well, let's try a new technique, shall we? And we shall. Holy mackerel Do I look white or what? We'll see if we can't blend that down some. I'm going to use the NYX Wonder Stick. My, one of the YouTubers that I love to watch, we did a box swap. And she had put this in my box. And I love it. that fatty part underneath the chin because aging is fun which I guess if I just paid attention to what I eat and lost weight I wouldn't have to try to erase it right but I'm in that stage where I would like to be skinnier but I really just don't want to diet I'm gonna use the Fair Light from Maybelline Fit Me. Man, that concealer is white! Holy mackerel. Which one was that? I just bought a few concealers. And I must have grabbed the extra light. I'm gonna go ahead with the color Dallas from Benefit. It's kind of a nudie color. Let's get them apples. Then we're gonna go in with my dual-sided Makeup Geek Highlighter Kit. I think this one is saying, pick me, pick me. So I'm like, okay, I'll pick you already. Because we have glitter, so now we must have shine. All right, we'll put, go ahead and put my finishing spray, which is the makeup finishing spray by Scandinavia. Let that set a moment and dry. And I need to figure out my lips. This is a glitter flip, but I don't know if that's, I can't believe I'm gonna say this. Is that too much glitter and shine? Nay, we say. <laughs> Actually, we don't say nay, because I think we got enough glitter and shine. And yes, I actually said that. Sometimes I even shock myself. I think I want to try this color. It's called Toffee. Um, 
It is by da, 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 L'Oreal Color Riche number 782. I actually like this one. I bought a bunch of them and I think I've gone through them over the years because now I'm busting into a brand new one. I bought me and my aunt like a ton of these. She introduced me this color years ago. So I bought a bunch, gave her some and me some, and then she forgot. She's the one that introduced me this color. Hi, Lori. I do have to thank my aunt. So my aunt, side note, I have had to deal with some um, interesting things recently that have been very tough and I had to fly out of town for some of it and so you know you you know you have good friends and family when they know that you're just at a low point in your life because you're trying to help someone else and you're doing everything you can and you fly out and they know when you're flying in and out so they just show up at an airport that's completely out of their state to pick you up to help be there for you when you're getting ready to go through some tough times and I have to say my Aunt Lori did that for me totally unexpected when I was on the plane I'm, I landed she said well I'm here to get you and I just started bawling I was like oh my gosh I don't have to do this hard thing alone and so big props to my Aunt Lori, who is also one of my best friends. I just, I, I can't say thank you enough. It's, it's always nice when you, you know you can do things on your own, but when someone comes to help you and you're not expecting it, man, it's a relief. But those friends and family members are few and far between. And so she definitely deserves a big shout out. Okay, so now I'm gonna go with a dose of colors. This is in the color Sleepless. I don't think I've used this on my channel yet. I know I've had it. Oh, oh wow, how pretty. Okay. This is a gorgeous color. And I have no clue why I haven't tried Sleepless before now. Okay, y'all, so this is kind of the end of the look. I, Because, again, I'm going to adjust it as soon as I'm done. I need to darken up and make these match a bit more. So, basically, we are in at the end of this tutorial using the Mario palette versus the Artistry palette. So you could see how close they are in colors. They're very, very close in colors. This one... I don't know, they both have a lot of fallout. This one probably has more fallout, but this one is in a really close almost tie, like less than a millisecond difference in a tie race as far as fallout goes. So they're pretty dang close. I do like the colors. I like, the, you know, kind of those neutral-esque colors. I think they're really pretty. I gravitate to those um, every once in a while I do get out of my comfort zone and we'll try a really bright color so that's also fun but I you know I did like using these head-to-head -head. so if the Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes are not in your price range Bad Habit has some amazing dupes and this one once again um, has actually held their own against this Mario palette so I have to say Bad Habit did it again these usually run in the 40s. These usually run $16 or less, I want to say. I'll double check the prices, but I mean, you're basically getting the same palette, sometimes more pigmentation for a third of the price, so, or a fourth of the price. I mean, it's absolutely amazing. So if you haven't tried these Bad Habit palettes and you like the look of expensive, but you it's not in your budget, definitely pick up the Bad Habit palettes. I got these on shophush.com. This one I believe I either got off of probably Sephora or Ulta, whichever one covers that. But the Shop Hush really has some amazing dupes and that Artistry palette just showed once again Bad Habit has some killer dupes. Well, I hope you like this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. 
If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And you know, if you have shopped on Shop Hush, let me know what you think. I'm kind of curious to see what are your favorite palettes. I've bought a lot off of there, but I still have probably a lot more to go. I've really fallen in love with Shop Hush's uh, makeup selection or their dupes because seriously, they, I think I've only had maybe one or two palettes not perform up to what I had expected. But we were talking, it was like a, I believe it was a Natasha, Natasha Denona palette. Um, it didn't perform the same at all, if I'm not mistaken. It was Natasha Denona. And, you know, Natasha's palettes are $130 for a reason. So I wasn't really e expecting it to perform like Natasha's. And that's the one. Gosh, getting old sucks, man. Your memory goes. But anyways, I hope you like this video. Please leave all your comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And I look forward to talking to you soon. Until next time.